Hi everyone, this is Mariah from the Blue Root team. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to use Zoho Meetings for a webinar. More specifically, I'm going to be showing how to create a webinar, being it recurring or regular, step-by-step -step through the process. I'm also going to be showing how to share a webinar recording, both automatically or if you want to use that somewhere else. I am also going to be showing some analytics, how to access them and get some examples examples on why you would want to use that. Same thing on source tracking on how to access that and why that is important or why you would like to use that. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't yet, click that bell in the corner so every time we release a video, you get a notification. And if you have any questions about Zoho meeting, how to set up a webinar or anything else Zoho related. There is a link on the description of this video for our office hours. This is a group settings where you can come and talk to us with Massimo or someone from our team and we are going to gladly answer all your questions about Zoho. I hope you like this video and I'll see you there. So let's get started. To get to this page, we're going to go to meeting.soho.com. Once you are in this page, you see that there are a couple different tabs in here. We're going to do ones related to webinars in a second. To start a webinar, you're simply going to click on schedule. You're going to put your webinar title here. For this example, I'm going to put YouTube webinar. Description, you can add any text you want in here and that will be your description. Here you can select the time and how long the webinar is going to be. If this is a recurring webinar, you will click on this tag box here, select recurring webinar. And to do the settings, you can select daily, weekly, monthly, or even custom. So if you have specific dates that you know you're going to do your webinar, you can just come in here and add all those dates. And you can also select in which time zone. So for example, if I am adding a webinar for a client or for someone that it's in a different time zone, I can put what time the webinar is starting on their time zone and just select in here. So then I don't need to do the conversion of time zones. So this first screen being said, you're just going to press next. On this next screen is where you're going to add a co-organizer. So we're going to have a coworker or a team member or even someone outside of your organization doing a webinar with you. You can click in add co-organizer and add them. For this example, I'm just going to add our sales and they're going to receive an email and then they can be a co-organizer here. And once you have added everyone that you want in your co-organizer section, you can press next. So here is where you set up who can come to your webinar. If it's exclusively with registration or if people can simply go to the link you shared and watch the webinar. Usually the most used is with registration and the way that I do it, I simply use the automatically. It goes instantly to their email, how to access, what's the time and all the information that they need to be part of the webinar. You can set some registration limits. So for example, if you're doing a paid course or if you are doing something that you want to specific amount of people so you can interact with everyone or anything on that sense. You can set a registration limit and you can put all these other sections in here as configuration for your registrants. You can also manage the fields that you want to grab from your registrants. Usually we just do first name, last name and email address. But if is there any other information that is relevant to your business, you can come here and select from predefined fields or add custom fields and then you just hit save then you press next this engagement section is where you're going to add things that for example for session materials if you have a pdf or if you have a powerpoint that you would like people to go through while you are doing your webinar you can come here and attach material so i'm just going to add something for example here if i want 
to add a video for them to prepare or if I want to add anything, I'm just going to add this one in here. So then these people, they can download this previous to the presentation or even during the webinar. Another thing that you can also do, for example, is polls. So if during your webinar you want to gather some type of data or you want to simply make sure that people are watching or they can see your screen, you can come here and add a poll and can you see my screen and you can put yes or no or you can put multiple choice or even a star rating so by the end of the webinar if you want to ask people to rate your webinar you can come here and star rating and tell them how many stars and if you want to label you can also give name to the scales and then you press next. So here in this section, you can customize which emails are going to be sent to the people that register to the webinar that are attending and the ones that weren't able to attend the webinar. A cool feature here is, for example, let's say that I am setting up this webinar, but I'm not really going to be there or we have a specific department in the company that is set to respond to any questions, concerns, requests. I can, if they have an account active in Zoho Meeting. I can just click on manage and select which email they are going to reply to. So the emails that you can set up automatically are the registration email that contains all the information. You can set up how many reminders you want to send. So you can set up to three and you can set which layout you want to use but also if you want to update instead of 15 minutes before i want to send it a day before you can select from all these options over here after the webinar you can send a thank you email and a follow-up email that meaning i'm going to show you here so the follow-up email is thank you for joining the webinar and just the information and the follow-up email it looks like this if someone wasn't able to attend your webinar and then you can select which ones by clicking and selecting the box once you have finished the settings you just press next and here are the preferences for your webinar so for example you can allow people to ask questions during the webinar and you can also choose if you want to allow them for example to ask anonymous questions or if mandatory they have to identify themselves another settings in here are about the recording if you want to do it automatically if you want to record your webcam along with your video feed that means if you're sharing your screen do you want it to simply share the screen or do you want to share yourself and the screen when you have the recording another things here would be this one i personally think it's related to privacy so do you want everyone to know who's in the webinar or do you want that list to be displayed only for you and your co-organizer another option is you can select emoji reaction so there sometimes you can put thumbs up or clapping or any type of regular emojis that are already set up. And a really cool thing that I personally do when I am setting up a webinar is post webinar redirection. That means that once your webinar is ended, instead of simply showing that thanks for joining the webinar, this session has been ended, they automatically go to the link that you type in here so let's say you have a website or it was a specific webinar for sales or for anything you can redirect people to that landing page or to the desired website that you want and you can type here in this case i'm going to put bluerood.ca and save so once the webinar ends people automatically go to our website then you hit next this is the last part of scheduling and doing the settings of the webinar is where you get the webinar id the general registration link and you can invite people in here a really cool thing that i personally do as someone from the marketing department is source tracking what that means is let's say that i am sharing my webinar on social media on newsletter and our website and i want to know where are people coming from? Are they coming from Facebook? Are they coming from LinkedIn? Are they coming from our newsletter? I can create a different source for different things. So for example, campaigns will be the one that I'm going to use for our newsletter on Zoho campaigns. And just to show you how the source tracking works in real life, I'm going to get a past webinar that we had here. So if you click in this, 
you will be able to see the information in the bottom here. So you can see how many people clicked on that link and how many people actually registered by using that link. And then you can use this information as it's appropriate for your business. When you are sharing your webinar, if you want to embed in your website, you can click on this symbol here and you're going to get the code and you can select if you want a source code or if you want an iframe and just put this into your blog or your website. So now that we already know how to set up regular or recurring webinar, you can see here that we have the post webinar follow-ups. Something that you can do in this is set up to automatically send the recording. So you can come in here, click and edit, and you can simply come here. If you press the hashtag sample symbol, you can add the recording. So automatically people are going to already receive the recording of your webinar. And I'm just going to discard this and go back. But another way to find the recording of your webinar, if you go here on the left side, you're going to see this menu and you click in recordings. You can actually have access to all the webinars that you have done in the past. And through that, you can simply click on share and you're going to select which settings you want. So you want to share specifically with people that were in the webinar as a co-host or as only the admin. You want everyone in the organization if you share the link. You want anyone that has a link can have it. You can also select if you want a, to allow people to download your recording or not. This feature here is if you want to only people from the organization to access this recording. If you click this one, everyone that is set in your Zoho meeting as a user will be able to visualize this recording even if they are not a admin or a co-organizer. So the next step would be analytics, analytics about your webinar, such as who were the organizer, how many people you have, how many people actually attended. And a really cool thing is that you can select what is the type of date range that you want in these analytics. So let's say from a marketing perspective, you want to know how many sessions you did in a year or how many people join. So for example, if you are doing a course or doing a specific thing for your industry, you can use this information to, let's say you're a coach and you do your sessions through Zoho meetings. You can use this information to say, these are how many people I have helped in the last year, or these are how many people I have been supporting in the last year. And you can tell how many sessions you did, what is the average sessions per day. So let's say you do multiple sessions per day, multiple webinars. You can see how many times in average per day you got the duration and how many people joined and then here you just have individual information and you can also export in case that's something that is useful for your business and when it comes the time for you to start your webinar you are going to come to webinars upcoming and click on start from a presenter point of view this is what it will look like. You can set up your information, click on proceed. And once you're joining, this is going to be your screen. You can see, you can set up a background. You can, if people are asking questions, this is where they're going to be showing. And if there are any polls, this is where it's going to be the information. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions related to Zoho meetings, just leave them in the comment below. If there is any other information regarding how to set up a webinar or how to share your webinar, you can leave them in the comments and we can do a more in-depth video on how, for example, use the integration between Zoho campaigns and Zoho meetings that I didn't cover in this video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Thank you.